You are welcome to DBA TV and thank you very much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to continue the conversation. You know, the last video was more info for you on the price verification system. More info for you on the price verification system. In this particular video, I'm going to review with you the initial circular of CBN. The initial circular of CBN on the price verification system. You know, there was a circular of CBN in 2021 on the private verification system. So what I'm doing today is to review that document with you. Now I'm sharing my screen so you can see what I want to discuss. It said guideline on the introduction of e-evaluator, e-invoicing of import export in Nigeria. Now the export part is not yet implemented. The export part is not yet implemented. So I'm talking focus on import in this conversation. For that, the circular reference TED FM FPC Gen 01005 dated August 5, 2020. All authorized dealer and general public are hereby informed of the introduction of e evaluator and e invoice, which replaces the ad copy of final invoice as part of the documentation required for import export transaction. Effective February 1, 2020, all import export operations will require submission of electronic invoice authenticated by authorized dealer on tariff monitoring system. Now, this has not been implemented because at least I this was supposed to be done in 2022. I still exported um, uh, this year, and this is not been implemented yet. I know the ones CBN is interested in actually, like I said, has to do more with the one that have to do with um. The issue of over invoicing is the ECBN interest. Over invoicing interest. He said the system will operate a global verification system mechanism guided by benchmark price. The benchmark price is actual spot price, market price obtainable at the time of consum consumption of invoicing in that market where the goods are traded. Import and export with price. Now, if you look at the last video, I talked about the fact that the 2.5% is the tolerance that CBN allows. Import export unit price that are more than 2.5% of the verified global check make prices will be queried and will not be allowed for successful completion of Form M. Remember, I said NSP currently not CBN focused. From M is the current, and come to think of it, I remember then I wrote an article at that time and I said, it doesn't make sense CBN talking about someone is exporting, is getting more effect, is able to sell at a higher price. I don't, we need the dollar. So I, I really don't know why CBN will be concerned about the fact that someone is supposed to export at $10, is exporting at $20, is able to get a better price, and is bringing more dollar into the economy. I don't think CBN should have issue with that. I don't think so. And I think they've seen reason to that now because I noticed that is not a concern for CBN right now. The concern for CBN right now is on import, an import that is having over invoicing. Over invoicing. Um, the guideline as they relate to obligation of importer and supplier for the operation shall be below. It said products that are more than 2.5% around the vertical price will be queried. And will not be allowed successful completion of form M. That is being implemented right now. This particular one is being implemented right now. Importer exporter of goods into Nigeria shall ensure that the purchase and sale contract with a foreign supplier or buyer stipulate compliance with the obligations set out in this regulation and that the supplier or seller invoice must be submitted in electronic format and authenticated by authorized dealer bank as part of the documentation for payment. No importer or exporter may effect payment to the credit or any supplier unless electronic invoice has been authenticated by authorized dealer bank presented together with the relevant document for payment. Now, this is not being implemented yet. The content of electronic invoice authenticated by authorized dealer bank is only advisory for Nigerian Customs Service. Of course, Nigerian Customs Service is a different agency of government. They have their own uh the way they go, go about um, price verification, so it's advisory. They can do other things they want to do. Um, a supplier 
a supplier of goods or services for import export operation is not into or out of Nigeria is required to register on a dedicated electronic portal by CBN and operated by CBN uh, agent service provider as in operational manner of form M and from NSP now. So the platform now is available pbs.cbn.gov.ng, but it's currently for importer and not for exporter. Following satisfactory registration and dedication, CBN and private service provider shall deliver a verification report and dedicated certificate for supplier or buyer which is valid for one year from the date, the date of issuance. Supplier shall issue digital certificate for signing and e-invoicing uh, to be submitted. Now, so that at that time, all suppliers are sub to Nigeria are supposed to register on the platform and make their pricing detail available and they have to pay for it. And they have to pay for it. I think CBN is jettisoning that idea because there were a lot of backlash on it. For less than the registration and authentication, supplier buyer is required to register or submit e-invoice. The idea of e-invoice is out of the window. Um, CBN appointed service provider shall deliver authenticated e-invoice to supplier for transmission to the buyer and negotiation of payment. CBN appointed service provider, which is now FGS, Shall additionally transmit e invoice to Nigeria single window for the trade monitoring system. So, what CBN planned before was for the people abroad, that's the supplier, to also register on this portal. And he said there will be an annual subscription fee of $350. And I think CBN are jettisoning that idea. Supplier is advised that an electronic invoice that has been authenticated is required for payment and any printed version of electronic invoice. So, and I like what CBN is doing right now. What CBN is doing right now is they are not bothered about payment again. They want to fix the issue at the level of performer invoice. So if already I did not approve your performer invoice, you cannot now, the bank will not be paying because now if you now have a performer invoice that have been approved and the approved value is $100,000, the bank know they will not effect any payment on your formal more than that value. So there's no point worrying about uh, the fact that your invoice value will be verified. It wasn't going to be. It doesn't even make sense, sincerely. I think what CBN is doing right now is a lot better. They will do verification of pro forma invoice, which is the amount. That means any amount that will be paid will not be more than 2.5% of the pro forma invoice. But the idea of $350 being paid is no more here. Now, there's an exemption to this particular program. Individual with invoices with value less than $10,000, except where supplier have an annual cumulated invoice value that is above $500,000, they shall submit e-invoice for all their operation, regardless of individual. I'm not sure this also will work right now. Import export transaction made by security agency, okay. Uh, supplier to diplomatic core are exempted. Donation are exempted. Good directly supplied by foreign government are exempted. So, uh, so CBN is in the process of trying to implement what they've talked about before. Uh, so this idea is not a new idea. Is CBN trying to ensure, remember my first video on private education system, capital flight is curbed, money laundering is curbed, people don't over invoice and move money out of Nigeria in the name of importation. That is what this is all about. To be able to ensure we don't have enough FX, this is to help us ensure that the little FX we have, we are able to contain it. We don't allow people to just take it out in the name of whatever it is. Uh, for those that are listening to or um, watching this video, what I believe CBN is trying to do is to curb capital flight for Nigeria money laundry. Uh, this program is not going to involve e-invoicing again. I don't know if CBN is going to come up back with that in future. The buyer abroad, I'm not sure if that is part of it again because that is not in the current process. CPN just wants to ensure whatever money you are going to pay out is going to be based on the performer invoice invoice that have been approved. And the approved performer invoice invoice is going to be the one that will be used to process from M. I think there's so many to unpack on this. Let me hear your thoughts on this. My name is Daily Bo and I'm your expert doctor. Thank you for stopping by. See you in the next video. And bye for now.